Oh, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. For those joining for the first time, I am so excited to start this video. Like I've been wanting to get to this video all weekend. I've been thinking about it. I talked about it on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me there because I put so much stuff there about recipes, stuff that I'm doing during the week. My uh, When I'm like gym, I do so much through there. So I encourage you to go follow me on Instagram. So... For this video, I'm going to be talking about my fitness journey and what I've been doing and what I'm going to be focusing my channel on now. And I think I want to be honest with you guys about what to expect moving forward in my channel and hopefully you can all support me. So right now, if you can go click that red button, subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Um, so yeah, so let's get started with the video. I want to talk about what has been my journey. So during undergrad, I was not working out. It was like cardio all the time. It was like cardio, cardio, cardio. Um, I would go just to run around or do the set machine or do the bicycle with Martha. Hey, Martha, shout out to you. Um, and I was not being productive. Like I was just, I did not know what I was doing until the summer before grad school. It's when I really started thinking more about my fitness journey, what I wanted to get out of it, what I was doing. Um, and... I started using some machines, right? Like, like for glutes and for my upper body cable machines, but I still had no idea what I was doing. Like, I honestly had no idea what I was doing. Um, and I would just go in there, kind of wing it and be like, I guess today I'm gonna be using this machine or I guess that I'll be using kettlebells today. You know, like, I guess I'll do this today. And I always did cardio still, like every day, cause I was like, I need to do some type of cardio. Um, and I learned over time that it's just, I was not doing it right. I just wasn't doing it right. All right, I had to put my glasses on because my eyes were hurting a lot. So I um, I was just was not doing it right. So um, for the first year of grad school, it was just a mess, okay? I had no structure in my fitness journey. Um, and then my second year of grad school is when I started to pay more attention and be like, okay, this day is going to be glutes. This day is going to be upper body. But I will still go show up to the gym and kind of be like, well, how am I going to do this, you know? And I would like look up videos while I was at the gym, you know? And I was just like, um, I guess I'll just use this machine or I guess I'll copy what this person is doing. But it is still, like, I was so lost, you know? Um, and it wasn't until the summer, last summer, when I, after I graduated, that I really started to watch Chrissy Sell, Chloe Ting, Steph Williams, and all these other, like, fitness girls. And I was like, okay, you know, these fitness trainers are doing it this way. Let me follow them. And I was doing their videos, and I did see some progress, but I was still eating, like, complete crap. And that's the bad thing about me. During, like, undergrad and grad school, I was just not eating healthy. I was eating so bad. Um, I was having Starbucks all the time during undergrad. Um, grad school, I did get better about my health, but I, I still was just not having a lot of control over what I was eating. Then when I went back to Chicago and I moved in with my sister, um, I started to pay more attention in my workouts. Like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And I kind of had like a routine. I started to get a really good routine last summer, but my diet was clogged complete crap like it was still bad i was eating out a lot i was having canes i was having popeyes i was having like chick-fil-a i was having like um shake shack like i was just eating you know every weekend like complete crap because i was like oh monday through friday I did so well so let me eat crap for like three days and now i've been having a balance like so much more because here in madrid is where i have seen the most improvements in my body that i've ever seen my whole life like and i mean that and it's because of the changes that i had to do so drastically on my diet and i didn't believe that before from people who would say like you need to change your diet you need to change your diet um but now i do <laughs> because like when i came here a lot of the food that i love like junk food is just not here um and if it is here it's super expensive and let me tell y'all i lost like 10 pounds when i got here just because my diet was just changed so drastically because i just did not like anything obviously i've been gaining it back because now i've been i got used to eating 
um, and finding stuff that I really like. So now I gained the weight back, but now it's not fat. It's a lot of muscle that I've been building. Okay, so you can be working out so many times a week, but if you're not changing your diet, you're not going to see any results. And it's like, you don't have to go on a keto diet. You don't have to go on a vegan diet or gluten-free diet. You just need to be so careful and balance your meals and look at what you're putting into your body. So currently what I am doing. So I've been working out, um, I want to say six times a week. I've been pretty productive. Um, I I work out for like an hour. Um, on glute days, I do work out for like an hour and 45 minutes. Um, but that's like a long stretch. I try to do an hour and 30 minutes for a glute day. Um, and then I only eat out two times a week. And when I do eat out, I try not to eat out very unhealthy feet, like uh, unhealthy foods. Um, I also cook a lot of my own meals um i really like to make enjoyable meals and i don't like to meal prep so many like for the whole week it's just not who i am i tried that before and i just don't like the food like that i like to create like fresh food and i like very really a lot of seasonings in my food so a lot of my recipes um tend to be like very flavorful um but still like on a good side of healthy like i try to eat like garbanzo beans like black beans um i eat like rice i eat like what i enjoy chicken with a lot of flavor with lemon with garlic um with like onion and like super 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 good so i really like to take control over what i'm eating and i really like to have full control that it's um has my protein in there because i make sure that i have protein in each meal and that i'm gonna be enjoying it so that's really really important for me um and when i do cook i like to create like two or three servings out of it um so i can have it for the for like the next day or anything like that um but i don't like to create like so many servings of the same thing because then i kind of get annoyed by it and fed up because i'm just like i'm eating the same thing all over and over again and i'm just not that type of person that likes to eat it more than two or three times uh, in the same week i think that also whenever i'm craving anything that can be unhealthy i try to look for like healthy alternatives so when i really i'm craving like a greasy burger and like some fries i make my own potato crisps here um and i also like eat like a turkey burger instead with avocado lettuce and tomato and then i get like um whole wheat like buns instead and stuff like that so i try to make it healthy and still try to enjoy what i want to eat but just make a healthier version yeah so that's pretty much what i've been doing like i've changed so much because i've been trying to be so more consistent with going to the gym six times a week and i and i almost really am consistent about thinking about everything that i'm putting in my body because sometimes i will stress eat a lot so what to expect moving forward um for me is to really Pro, like post productive days for you like uh, about my fitness journey right so every sunday i want to post videos okay um and i've been posting videos every sunday about like my experience in madrid but i feel like it's just like not something that people are enjoying or people really care about because it's not something that's helping you right and like your time is valuable and you and very valuable and useful so it's better to invest your time in something that's actually going to help you and i think that this can really help anyone that watches my video to learn from my mistakes and to even improve even further or to even help me like give me tips whatever has been ever working for you it's something that i've been wanting to do for a long time but i was very scared to do it because i'm not like chrissy cell and i'm not stephanie like stephanie williams and i'm not chloe ting like i don't have an hourglass figure like i don't have those huge biceps or anything like that like I am still starting my journey and I think that's amazing to show you guys my journey to show you how real it is and now how easy it is like when you see those videos are like two weeks shred of like this is gonna you know completely transform your body it can for some people but not all people and let me tell you it did not work for me uh, it's been taking months to see any improvements and that is okay like don't compare yourself to anyone so i want to do that i want to show you guys my real 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 journey and how much it really like how hard it really is if it was easy everybody would do it that's the best piece of advice that i had had from a chapter sister 
Um, and I want to share some tips with you all about mistakes that I've learned, also things that have been helping me and also keeping me motivated. So that's going to be coming soon. Um, tips and a motivation video because going six times a week to the gym is a lot, especially if you're working full time. So I'm, I'm going to make a video for y'all to help you guys keep yourself very organized using your time wisely because I am very, very careful of what I give my energy to and my time to. I pay so much more attention to that now than ever before. So I'm going to be sharing that with you all. If you would like to see a video like that, comment down below that you would. But please make sure to subscribe, to follow me. And I want to say that I want to invest so much more time in this. And I think I've always said that, but now that I'm doing something that I really care about and showing you guys about my fitness journey, my healthy lifestyle, I really want you like your support. Like I really, I'm really asking for it because i want to build a platform that i can help so many more people and it would mean the world to me honestly i think this is like something i'm very very passionate about and i've been talking to my friends about it but i've been very very scared that people were going to judge me or think that i'm not fit enough or i'm not prepared enough but you know what who cares i'm going to be learning along the journey and that's okay um so yeah that's what to expect so um i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a little bit all over the place um but if you have any advice or if you're so excited to follow me in this journey please subscribe um but yeah um i hope that you guys are all doing well take care i hope you, that your weekend was amazing um uh, but i'll see you next week